on the streets of Nairobi. As we have continued to monitor, we've just seen small crowds uh, still trying to gather within the central business district, all to do with the Nani Nani protest. Remember, their right to peacefully picket and protest is enshrined in Article 37 of the Constitution. And we had from the acting IG of police, Gilbert Masengeli, saying police will respect and actually protect the protesters, even as they said they will respect a court order that barred them from using excessive force. Let's just cross over to our reporter who's coming to us live from Nairobi Central Business District. Jeff Mogire is joining us. Mogire, good afternoon to you. We just want to get an update on what exactly has played out in Nairobi. Earlier on when we conversed, you informed us about how businesses have been affected, how the heavy security presence has characterized the streets of Nairobi. What exactly is going on at this hour? Have the crowds started to gather? Are there any disruptions in terms of running battles between the police and the protesters who might have made their way to Nairobi CBD? Mogiri. Uh, next to Deden Kimathi uh, statues, right here at uh, the Kimathi Avenue, and uh, Deden Kimathi Street, and um, he has refused to leave. Police have tried to lob tear gas to him, and the young man standing next to him, uh, they have remained uh, defiant and resilient in what they are doing, and they are calling for the government uh, to leave. And they are calling for the government to stop corruption. They are calling for the government to ensure that the cost of living is a affordable to everybody else who lives in this country. So this man here has refused to leave. He has chilled himself there and uh, tied himself next to that statue and waiting to see how this pans out. Police earlier tried to move him away, but he has refused to move. So he stands there. So away from that, the streets of Nairobi have experienced a very difficult scenario. Since morning, there has been tear gas. Uh, police officers have been uh, lobbying tear gas, canisters, this is Kimathi Street. It remains the way it is right now because of the police officers who were here earlier like three minutes ago and they lobbed a volley after volley of tear gas. Today, the protesters have in one way or the other remained peaceful because I've not seen protesters hurl rocks to police officers. I've not seen that today. But police have continuously, constantly used uh, tear gas canisters, live rounds, uh, to, disperse, to, uh, to disperse them and to move away from this area. So I have a man here who has come all the way from uh, Western region, and he's here saying that he's a peaceful protester, and maybe, maybe he can tell us what exactly he's doing here and how did he get here exactly. Uh, give me a minute. I want to talk to this guy first, then I'll talk to you. Hi, Kaka. Uh, begin with your name and tell us why you're here today. Okay, my name is Dennis Asonga. I'm uh, from uh, Western province, Vega County. And I've come all the way here to Nairobi to demonstrate. You know, my problem is one with the government. The government, when President Ruto said that he's going to select a government that is inclusive, those were not our problems. Our problems were, one, number one, we need jobs. Number two, we need uh, some activities to be done in the government. We need him to stop corruption. But when you have a president that is always working, uh, on cars and uh, he's always campaigning like the president is doing nothing for Kenyans and uh, at the moment I wonder what the president is doing to the people of Kenya because you see the president promised many things and he has done nothing even at the moment when we are talking you cannot say even one project that the president has done the president has done nothing for the country thank you I'm Dennis Asonga Thank you so much, Dennis Osonga from Western Region. Uh, now, this is uh, the other side is Tom Boyer, and uh, we've seen activities on that side. And uh, there's an activity here now. The protesters have come out again, calling for the same government to go away. They believe that whatever they are doing here is legit, and they believe whatever is happening here has to give. So, at the end of the day, Jesse, we have seen running battles between police officers and protesters. We've seen businesses completely remain closed within the CBD of Nairobi. Also, 
You've seen young people come out holding their flags, holding their phones and masks. They don't have stones. Today I've not seen a police officer uh, receiving from the other end. Police officers are, are uh, uh, lobbying t t uh, tear gas canisters as protesters come for safety and they remain peaceful. So the situation is still uh, so hot in the CBD and we're waiting to see how this pans out at the end of the day. But these are the pictures uh, of what we are getting from the CBD of Nairobi right now, live from Kimathi Street. All right, Jeff Mogire coming to us live from Kimathi Street in Nairobi's central business district. But as you can see, small crowds, subdued crowds gathering, uh, trying to push for their agenda in terms of the concerns they have raised around transparency, accountability and good governance. But that is what is characterizing Nairobi Central Business District. Most businesses seem to be affected. Most remain closed. But there are no stone throwing games between the police and the protesters. That's keen to note, as Mogire pointed out. But police have definitely used tear gas canisters to disperse some of the crowds. We now want to cross over to Mudoka, David Mudoka, who's joining us still live from the Central Business District to get a feel of the situation as it is. Mudoka, good afternoon. Kindly tell us which particular street you're coming to us live from. Any action so far? What's the state of businesses? Any running battles between protesters and police? And what do we expect in this particular time? Mudoka. Jesse, I am coming to you live from the GPO area, and this is actually along Kenyatta Avenue, but of course this is just a few meters away from the Uhuru Highway roundabout, uh, where so far uh, what we've seen, uh, what we've seen rather, is a very uh, reduced flow of traffic here. Uh, we haven't spotted any demonstrations around this area, but we've been patrolling the CBD on foot and we have seen uh, uh, small gatherings of protesters at uh, the Jivanji grounds uh, area. We've also spotted others along Mwindimbingu as well as at uh, Moy Avenue who have been dispersed by police officers uh, just moments after gathering. Uh, but so far, we haven't seen such a huge crowd of demonstrators in the CBD. As you can see, this is actually a GPO. Uh, this is where uh, normally during uh, protest days, uh, there are uh, running battles as well as uh, battles between the police officers and uh, uh, the demonstrators. But as you can see, uh, these are a number of PSV vehicles that are parked here waiting for uh, travelers here uh, to take them to various uh, places outside the CBD. Of course, there are also private vehicles and motorbikes, some even carrying uh, customers that are leaving the CBD, are going to other directions. Uh, in uh, the Nairobi city county. So as you can see, uh, so far it is 1 p.m. Uh, and this area, uh, in as much as it is deserted, uh, there are no protests yet. We don't know whether uh, we will be seeing them as the day progresses. We still have a few hours left uh, before the uh, constitutional uh, uh, deadline for demonstrations. Uh, but so far, uh, there is that reduced flow of traffic. Uh, most businesses have been shut uh, down, as we see even patrols uh, by police officers, some in plain clothes and others in uniform. Form. So, indeed, that is just one of the uh, banks around here. Uh, a number of businesses are, uh, around this area, of course, have been shut down today. Uh, the town is uh, relatively deserted. Uh, most of the people who are here are the police officers and a number of uh, residents who have come to do their businesses. Uh, but as it is so far, uh, demonstrations-wise, uh, we haven't uh, spotted uh, a lot of them. We haven't spotted many demonstrators in the CBD, just a few who have been dispersed. A number have also been arrested, uh, and that is the city situation on Nane Nane Jesse here in the CBD. We'll definitely be coming back to you in the course of the day to get a status update on the state of affairs in Nairobi Central Business District. But as you can see, live pictures, a stark contrast on one end around GPO, no action at all, quiet, calm and civilized on the other end, heavy police presence. And as you can see, some of the protesters have been uh, arrested, uh, put in that police vehicle, 
even as they continue to subdue some of the protesters who are gathering in Nairobi's central business district. But it doesn't seem to be a show of force from the police. Of course, heavy police presence, but they're definitely lobbing tear gas, no running battles as of yet. But those are live pictures from, I think that's still Kimathi Street, where a crowd had gathered a little bit earlier on, and it seems the police have moved in to quell the riots and disperse the masses who were trying to gather at that particular area in Nairobi's central business district. So that's the latest from Nairobi. Heavy police presence. Business, business premises actually affected, closed due to speculation in terms of the protests. But away from Nairobi CBD, allow us to cross over to Kakamega County so we can give you a true state of affairs, not just in the capital, but across major towns in Kenya. I'm now joined by Alan Ochanda, who's coming to us live from Kakamega to give us a status 